Previously on the Andex Challenge USA, our 27 tourists were knee deep in the last leg of the Route 66 three part challenge. Each team had a guardian they had to pass in order to get closer to their team logo sign. Afterwards, there was a race back to the blimp. Teams Jodo, Sinnoh, and Kalos managed to not place fourth, but I couldn't say the same thing for Team Hoenn. <laughs> wow, toys in a row must suck. At the Master Ball ceremony, it was pretty clear that Flareon was getting dropped. Oh well, so sad. This week, our 26 tourists head to Alaska for an ice cold challenge. Find out what that means today on the Andy X Challenge USA. Let me tell you a little story about someone I not so know I'm mighty, um, I could not So let them all sound dony, I was said it all I don't know if I can see you, yeah, 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 yeah. So we had this strange dream that first class didn't look like this. It actually looked it looked like it was drawn in paint. Weird, isn't it? Um, we're in part of so that wasn't weird. It was it actually happened. What? What do you mean, dude? Last week it was paint. It was didn't look like it was from paint. It just gave first class a hookup. You don't see a change when the, you don't see a change when it happens. Ew, I thought it was fake. Ew, shame on me for clothing now. I can't tell the difference between t makeovers. And I should know I'm in the fashion industry. How did you get into the fashion industry anyway? Yeah, no one was expecting that from you, of all people. No offense, bro. In and taken. Turns out that many Pokemon would like to wear clothes, so I took it upon myself to make my own clothing line. But strictly for Pokemon. You know, because Pokemon need clothes too. Very true. Although, I already look like I wear clothes anyway. Those aren't clothes you're already wearing. You know, honestly, I have no idea, Copper Gregus, to be honest. Ew, let's move on. So, Espeon, I have to ask, how do you like the show so far? Oh, it's uh, pretty good. Although, I really don't like dealing with my personalities right now. Oh. Oh, Espeon, we'll find a way to control those eventually. But for now, let's just enjoy the game, and you've got me to, on the team, so you got me on the team, so you'll be fine. I hope so. Ah, uh, 
you are so freaking adorable. Did anyone ever tell you that? Well, yes, you did just now. But please, Rosalie, let's not point the attention at me. Let's point it at you. You are one of the most cutest people I've ever met. Ah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, I'm not really disappointed at what... I'm, I'll have to say I'm not depressed that Flareon left. But I am a little disappointed that he left. But I'm more disappointed at the reason he left, because it was kind of obvious. Don't get me wrong, I still love him, but... My gosh, he did not know when to shut up about himself. It was annoying. Still love him, but... Gosh, after winning those competitions, I really don't think he was going to be quiet anytime soon. Not entirely. Not entirely his fault, I mean... When you win something, you kind of want to cheer about it, but still. Uh, Miss Grafty and Kofi Gregus have become really good friends. And although they still think I'm an idiot, I try to, I try to let them know that I'm not exactly the brightest bulb in the books. Or not all that in the bag of chips, or whatever the other phrase is. The point is, I'm really excited that I have friends. Last season, I didn't have friends. And even if I did, they were playing me, my ludic. So adorable. I asked you guys to please stop staring at me. How am I supposed to focus on strategy when I have two stalkers giving me the death glare? I don't know. You're good like that. Yeah. Wow. If one stalker wasn't enough, we got two on our team. No kidding! Wow. <laughs> Meh, works for me. As long as they're getting on Electivire's nerves, I have no problem with it. Of course you don't, you stupid nerd. Don't make me come over there, Electivire. Just, just don't. Oh, I'll do exactly whatever I want. I'm the captain of this team. For now. <laughs> Crocodile's got a point. <laughs> whatever. Ugh, I'm getting so tired of Sylveon and Snorlax. No, scratch that. I'm getting tired of my entire team. Ugh, Nidoking's King's annoying as hell. Manetric, well, pretty much the same. Croconaw, well, she's just Croconaw. My Lodic was already annoying to begin with. And don't even get me started with Sylveon and Snorlax. Ugh, those two do not know when to leave me alone. They keep giving me these death glares as if I'm going to do something. And for whatever reason, Sylveon has had numerous attempts at trying to touch my body. For obvious reasons, of course. But it's getting really, really annoying. And if we lose, I've got to do whatever it takes to get one of those two eliminated. Is it a crime that we're next to our favorite person and that we want to touch that person's abs all the time? Yeah, I just want to look at them. Yeah. Alright, listen, Arcanine. You and I both know that our team is gonna keep on losing if we don't start working together. I'm listening. If we don't start working together, someone is gonna go home, and I know that someone is gonna be you. What makes you think I'm gonna go Driftblim? Well, for starters, you stupid ass dog, you're the cause for Absol's elimination. For the last time, Driftblim, that was Ninjaski's fault. She's right, you know. Are you actually taking credit for that? Yes. When you get out someone really strong, it's it, it's worth taking credit for. Anyway, fine. I get where you're going with this. I think we should work together for the time being. So can we call a temporary truce at least until merge? Fine. Temporary truce. We'll, we'll, we'll see how long this lasts. It's got to look like it's only last for another day. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, yeah, I called a truce with Arcanine. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not the best thing I've ever done. However, if it helps our team win, I'll, t I'll trust her all the way to the merge. Well, quote-unquote, trust, trust. Like, hell, I'm gonna really trust the dog. The girl's gotta go, okay? Honestly, if I have to trust Driftblim just so our team could win and that I'm not at risk of leaving, fine, I'll do whatever it takes. Bring it on. Ah, this is so nice. Our room looks so nice. Well, you know, it's, it's bearable. Yes. 
Now we just have to decide who we want to vote out. Um, well, I'm thinking it should be between Chan and Venusaur, Krokorok, and Starmie. Or at least Starmie, not Krokorok. Agreed. We should keep those on our list. Hey, I got you a flower. Um, yeah. I see the generous flower on your back. No, I mean, I have one. I screw it. Look, Venusaur, I don't know why you're even trying to offer me stuff, alright? Just leave me alone. Fine. Okay, so Beautiful and I, you know, being the friends we are, have to figure out who we want to eliminate the minute our team loses, because it is definitely going to happen soon. And we need to decide who we want to put out. And if anything, I want Cherub out. What? I still don't like her. I can be as friendly as I want to others, but I'll never like Cherum. Seriously, Venusaur has been trying to come up on me with flowers and stuff. She needs to let me alone. Sorry, she. I meant he needs to let me alone. Good morning, Taurus. Well, as you all know, Flareon was eliminated last week on during our three-part Route 66 challenge. Now it is time to go to a new location. Finally, yeah. And that new location is very special and cold. In new, we're going to ferment. That was very random, Rampardos, but no, later in the season. Anyway, time to drop you. Adios. Ah! Welcome to Alaska. It's so good. What the hell, Infinite? Sorry, guys. We have to come here with anything because, hello, it's Alaska. Now, today's challenge is special. You'll be hunting something called an Alaskan bullwurmple. What? I've only heard those are myths. I didn't think those were actually real. You're wrong, Copper Gragas. They're very real. And they exist on a very strong... In a, and they exist in rarities, of course. Your goal is to find a an Alaskan Bullwurmple, capture it, and pick one person from each team to ride the Alaskan Bullwurmple in a race across the frozen tundra of Alaska. However, as for the rest of the teammates, your job is to find various flags around the frozen tundra, and, and your captains will have to find you. Once you have found all of your teammates at the various flags, you will have to head to the finish line. And of course, as always, the last team there will lose and we'll have to vote someone out. So, start your hunts for the Alaskan Bullwurmples and I'll see you guys later, okay? Alright, so, since none of y'all decided to volunteer, I will ride the Alaskan Bullwurmple. And since I know how to tame a bad bug, I'm gonna do it. Since when do you know how to tame bad bugs? And just... The less you know about my life in the ghetto parts of Sinnoh, the better. Now if you excuse me. That's right. Alright, let's go. Hello, little Wampa. Would you like to come with us? Wampa, Wampa. Aww. Yes, so good with animals. You mean Pokemon. I don't care, little catty. It's just so cute. Yeah, yeah. They do not know what they see in him. Neither do I. Ditto with that. So, um, I can't really ride this, cause, uh, but I'm not really good with it. So who else wants to do it? Ladies, anyone? Ah, uh, no thanks. I'm too pretty for that. I'll do it. It'll be my honor. I just learned how to drive anyway, so I'm good. Yeah, do realize it's gonna be different from driving a car, right? Yes, I'm well aware of that, Espiona. Uh, so, you ready for this? Uh, no, I'm not. Are you sure this is gonna work? Yes, I've done this before. You've lifted snow axes before. No, I've lifted heavy things and smashed them on stuff for. Come on, yes, I've lifted snow axes before. This will be a cinch. Now just hold still and we can do this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cat brain. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, does that mean I have to ride it? 
Uh, no. Do you know how to draw? Do you know how to write a purple? No. And no. So, anyone? Anyone want to volunteer? Nope. I'm not doing it. Nope. Oh, hell no. No, sorry. Well, then I guess I'm the one did it. All right, let's go. Uh, will someone please just get the purple so we can move on? Oh, oh I can't do it. I, I, I can't really ride a one, but I've only got wings. Yeah, and I have, my hands are really small. Starmie cannot do it. He would end up hurting the bug if it gets on Starmie's nerves. Well then, I guess I'll do it. Ah, yeah. I used to do, I used to rally up some of these bugs like this back over there in Texas, so just leave this to me. Fine, whatever, let's just go. Alright, the race is about to begin on your mark. Get set. Go! And they're off. No crap enough. I didn't think I would I didn't think I'd meet up with your pretty face. Oh, I think I'm thank you. No no, thank you. You are by far one of the cutest girls on this show that I've ever met. And I've only been in there for, for a little time. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh no, you look so cute. You know, if I wasn't with Papa Grimes, I'd totally pick up with him. Hi, Espeon. Um, this is kind of awkward, isn't it? Yeah. So... What are we waiting here for? Our team, remember? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. I kind of lost track of time and stuff. No, it's fine. Happens all the time. Wow, you work out... You look like you work out a lot. Yeah, it happens every so often. I, whenever I get the chance, I lift. Oh, wow, it sure certainly shows. Because, uh, you know, you, you work out and you can Uh, thanks. That was the most awkward conversation I have ever had. I'm not saying something because I've had a lot of awkward conversations. Where the hell is she? Rushing to things, are we? Oh, shut up. Come on. Hey guys, sleep. Come on, let's go. Yay! Grab on, let's get out of here. What are you singing? Ew, I'm singing the, I'm singing the scatter song. The what? Ew, you never heard of it? It's the hit of all of Van Halen. You should listen to it. Uh, no thanks. Okay, you lose. Hey guys! Sweet! Hello, dear caddy! Let's go! Awesome. Hey y'all! Oh, finally. Stop being so impatient. Well, it's no surprise. You're an impatient star who won't take no for an answer. Shut up, you stupid crocodile. Next on Stunny's list. Guys, let's just go. Seriously, is that how it's supposed? To, is that how it's gonna end? Yes, because that's the way it has to be scrapped. But you and I. Yeah, you and I. We never work out. You always break up with me. Hold on a second. You're the one who always breaks up with me. Rosemary, you break up with me every time. I'm the one who tries to stay committed to the relationship. You always have to break up with me. Simply because I'm being a pervert. You are being a pervert. You always are being a pervert. If nothing else, you always talk to other women as if they are your girlfriend. Can I talk to a girl with them just being my friend? Is there such a thing? Yeah, but you flirt with them. But you're no different. You've been flirting with Neuburn. Uh, that's different. He's hot. And what am I to you? Just some weird pervert who always likes being with other girls. I would have broken up with you by now. Oh, oh, if that's the way you feel about it, then fine. We are through. 
fine. Screw you. Screw you. Go to hell. You go to hell fast. Uh, oh, uh, hi, Uh, hey, beautiful eye. Awkward, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is really awkward. Scatterbug is here. As am I. Oh, hey, beautiful eye. Oh, hi, swallow. Yeah, um, as awkward as that moment was between me and Beautiful Eye, I, uh, I can safely say we've buried the hatchet from whatever happened last season, which is cool. Beautiful Eye and I have decided to be friends, but unfortunately, Swallow doesn't like the sound of that. So if we even got close to each other, Swallow would have a fit. I've been trying to let him know that Beautiful Eye and I are friendly now, so I wish he'd let I wish you'd let everything go from last season. Aha! Come on, guys! Let's get the hell out of here! Sweet! Alright! Hey, Sylveon! Sweet! Are there some like fire on you? Um, no. But we need to keep going, so let's go. We might end up finding him. Sweet! Yeah, yeah. Screw you. Hey, guys! Oh, how time don't that ill get tired of this stupid female over here. I was getting tired of this perv who thinks he's on that. Um, I think if you guys have broken up with each other again. Yup. Yup. Well, aside from that, come on. We gotta get out of here. We got a challenge to win. Grab on! Fine. Fine, whatever. There you guys all, grab on. All right, let's go. Yay. Huh, wow, I didn't know you were that good at something. Yeah, that's kind of my thing. <laughs> and I didn't know you lifted that much. No wonder. Huh, thanks. There you are. Hey, come on, Espion. All right, come on, Electivire. Whatever. See you later, Espion. Yeah, see ya. Oh. Getting cold? Oh, not that much. Let me get closer. Maybe I can keep you warm. Ooh, this sounds pretty adorable. Jar, rock, ding! Ooh, we have to sing! Oh, that's great. Do you mind if I take the lead? Oh, sure, I'd love to hear your singing voice. With pleasure. Do, 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 take care of me, Carrie. Take a door. I confess. Do, I love you. Do you love me? I adore you. Can't you see? Rock and roll. You turn me on. You are the love of my life. Forever. Join me on our adventure. Be with me forever and listen to my song. Yes, yes, I know you're in love with someone else. But consider me, and when you do, you'll say, Take care of me, care grace. Take a door I confess. I love you, do you love me? I adore you, can't you see? Te quiero, me quieres. Te adoro, I confess. I love you, do you love me? Do I adore you, can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Do you love me? Ah, <laughs> oh, that was too easy. You've done it again, my friend.
Backhead. Uh oh. <laughs> ah, that was fun. Oh, hey, we're like that. Huh. As soon as I found you, you're like the last person left to get. Come on. All right, let's go. There you guys are. Took you long enough. Come on. I had enough. I'd spend enough time with this stupid dinosaur. The same goes to you, you stupid ass flower. Oh, shut up. I'm better than you. You know no, you're not. Guys, come on. We gotta go. Right. Let's go. Aha! There you are, camera. You had to go to the farthest flag, didn't you? Hey, your front episode to spread out. I was only following the rules. True, true. Come on, girl. Let's get out of here. Uh, hold on. Where the hell's... Oh, no. What? What's the problem now? Croconaw's not here. This is the last flag, guys. Where is she? Look, we don't have time to find her. We need to keep on going. And what if she's stuck out somewhere? We need to find her. No, we need to make it to that finish line to at least claim a victory. But what if... We lose by default because we don't have all of our teammates electivire. It doesn't matter. Let's go. We don't have much time. I do not want to place last. We will if we don't find Crocodile. Just go. Fine. Fine. You know, I really don't care. Because the fact is, if we lose, oh, it'll be because of electivire, not Crocodile. I told you, they told him I wanted to find her. But nah, 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 nah. Need to be some stupid idiot. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna go read some comic books now. <laughs> and here they come. Sweet! Awesome! Made it! Sweet! Here we are. Well, congratulations, Team Hoenn. You place first. Yeah, right! Yeah! Team Jodo, you place second. Yeah! Team Sinnoh, third place. Wow. And that goes to you. And as for fourth place, and as for fourth place, Team Kalos. Ugh. Great. Yeah. Electivar, you really should have listened to Nidal King and go find Croconaw because that could have at least put you in second, but it didn't. So with that said, Team Kalos, you're going to the Master Ball Ceremony tonight. See you there. What? Croconaw got lost. She never gets lost. She may be a little lightheaded and stupid at times and may like cheesecake more than the average person does, but she never gets lost. So she must have been sabotaged. But by who? Hours later. Wow, she really lost for this long. Mm, no kidding. Ooh, hello guys. <gasps> oh, oh, thank goodness we found you. Oh, oh, uh, where is everybody? Um, for Alligator, unfortunately, the challenge is over and your team lost. Uh oh, yeah. Apparently, they decided not to look for you and that's how they lost. But we have to ask, where were you anyway? Oh, I was pushed off a cliff by Neumann and attacked by Beartick. I fought them off and I ended up evolving. Well, that's great, but you're still at risk tonight. Uh-oh! Yep, so, see you and the rest of Team Carlos at tonight's Master Ball Ceremony. Oh dear. This is bad. I have to convince them that it wasn't my fault that I fell off that cliff. Well, I did fall for Neuvern's trick, but I have to do something! Poor alligator does not want to go home! I've got too much cheesecake to eat. Okay, so as you can see, we've given the first classroom a facelift. No kidding, I like it. Yeah, so, enjoy! Wow, you gotta love how they tried to make their first classroom look the best. Good for- good on ya, Infernape and Manifly. It's the Master Ball Ceremony! Yeah, Infinite and I came up with the jingle. And that scene. Anyway, welcome!
Dream Team calls to your very first Master Ball ceremony. In front of me are six Master Balls, but seven of you. One of you will be getting the drop tonight. Let's find out who that will be. Tonight, Master Balls go to... Milotic, Nidoking, Manetric, Snorlax, and Sylveon. Our bottom two tonight are Electivire and Feraligator. Come on down, guys. So, let's start with Feraligator. You got lost and tricked and came back late, making your team lose. While Electivire, you could have stopped and searched for Feraligator. You may have still lost, but at least you would have found one of your teammates knowing that you cared about them. I don't really care about any of my teammates, to be honest. Wow. That's a great attitude to show while trying to stay in the game. So, let's find out which one of you two is done for. And the last Master Ball of the night goes to... Electivire. <laughs> Big surprise. What? No! It wasn't my fault. I was tricked. I don't care if you were tricked. You were lost. And we could have won if you just stayed at one of the stupid flags. But you don't understand. I was tricked by no- <laughs> Whatever. Bye for alligator. <laughs> Poor for alligator. So cute, yet so expendable. Now that the first person on my target list is gone, my diabolical plan can come into motion. I won't say who I'll go after next. Just know this. One by one, they'll all be dropped out of this blimp. In other words, watch out for Neuvern. <laughs> <gasps> oh boy, we've got ourselves the first villain of the season! So, with this new development out and about, how will Kofagragas react to Feraligator's sudden departure? What's Neuvern's next move, and where will our next destination be? Find out next time on the Andy X Challenge USA! I'm Infinite, and I will see you guys next time. Good night.